In this video, let's create our very first Svelte application. Let's begin by setting up our development environment. For Svelte, we need two things installed, Node and a text editor of your choice. For Node, go to nodejs.org, download and install the latest stable release. If you already have it installed, make sure to update it. For text editor, I recommend VS Code. You can download and install it from code.visualstudio.com. After installing VS Code, open the extensions tab and install the Svelte for VS Code and Svelte 3 snippets extensions. Together, they provide syntax highlighting, code snippets, linting and formatting support, order completion, and a lot more features specifically for Svelte. Now before we begin with the code, there is one point I would like to highlight. When it comes to the world of Svelte, there are two things you should know about. Svelte and Svelte Kit. Svelte Kit is an application framework powered by Svelte. If you're familiar with React or Vue, you might be aware of frameworks like Next.js and Nuxt.js. Next.js is a framework powered by React and Nuxt.js is a framework powered by Vue. Similar to that, Svelte Kit is a framework that is powered by Svelte. It adds features like routing and server-side rendering which are great for building medium to large scale applications. What I always recommend is to learn React before Next, Vue before Nuxt, and of course, Svelte before Svelte Kit. So this tutorial series is focused only on learning the concepts in Svelte and not Svelte Kit. As of this recording, Svelte Kit is still in the beta release and I will be creating a separate tutorial series on Svelte Kit a few months down the line. But the reason I bring this up is because we can create a new Svelte app by following instructions on the Svelte site as well as the Svelte Kit site. As beginners though, we are going to follow the instructions on the Svelte site for this particular series. All right, to get us started, I have created a folder called Svelte and opened VS Code inside that folder. This folder is going to be our workspace for the rest of the series. To create a brand new Svelte project, all we need is one line of code. In the terminal, run the command npx dgit sveltejs slash template followed by the name of the project. Let's call it hello world. So hello hyphen world. The dgit command basically clones the Svelte template repo without the git history. The command takes a few seconds to run and once the command completes, you should have a new folder called hello world. This folder contains our Svelte application. To run this application, first navigate inside the project folder. So cd hello world. Then run the command yarn to install the dependencies. If you're using npm, you might want to run npm install. Once the command completes, run the command yarn dev or npm run dev. The command will set up a development server on localhost port 5000. I can control click this link and head to the browser. You can see that our hello world application is up and running. By default, the UI features a heading that says hello world, followed by a line of text that tells us to check the Svelte tutorial to learn how to build Svelte apps. Your first Svelte application is up and running. All right, now that we understand how to generate a Svelte app using the dgit command, 
In the next video, let's understand the project's folder structure.